Welcome to JSA TV live here from the floor of PTC 2023. I'm Barb Mitchell and joining me is Michael Donahue, Managing Director at Cumulus Data and uh, Kevin Dalton, Chief Data Center Operator. Good morning. Uh, yes, officer <laughs> um, for Cumulus Data Centers. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. We're really looking forward to, we're sort of kicking off here this morning, uh, what's set to be a, a series of great conversations with leaders such as yourselves in the industry. It's a great event already this yeah, year. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah, yeah. So tell us, what, what are you experiencing so far? It's, it's day one, but it kind of, I was just saying to someone, it feels sort of like day three or four, but... <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, most everyone gets here early to start with anyway, right, especially yeah. us coming from uh, east, you know, just to get used to the time yeah, change. the 12 plus so, hour journey. Yeah, so we're, we're already well into it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, what sorts of conversations? I know that, you know, first of all, let's back, step back a second and, and maybe for our viewers and, and just a preview of the conversations you've probably been having or will have. Tell us a little bit about uh, about your company and, and you know, what you're focused on. For sure. So um, by way of introduction, uh, Cumulus is a subsidiary of Talent Energy. And the um, I think that the goal of Cumulus is to try to solve the trilemma, or we call the power trilemma, which is um, it's solving zero, uh, zero carbon, low, low cost, reliable power. Yeah. And um, the way that we're thinking about doing that is by connecting ourselves, connecting our nuclear power plant to a data center that we're building on campus. Right. We're going to be um, basically trying to disrupt the way that the traditional industry pulls power off the grid. Right. And we're going to be going around the utility by just directly connecting our power plant to our data center. And to answer the question I think you, heard, you said earlier is what is like the the number one thing that people are continuing to talk about at every all these happy hours is you know, where are people going to get power from? Because right? right. we keep on hearing that you know, the utilities are shutting people off. And they're not going to have power for a few years now. Right. And so, you know, I think sustainability was the was the conversation last year, and now the conversation seems to be where are people going to get where power from? Where is it from? coming from? Yeah, I mean, a big global conversation, right? I think, yeah. So, so hard to know where to start with all of that. But let's start with you have a, a flagship data center you're building out in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, can you talk about that? Correct. So, you know, the idea behind the data center is uh, we are looking for ways to better monetize, you know, our assets. Yeah. Um, you know, from a, a standpoint, we we sell most of our power directly to the grid, which you know is pretty much that a. a a fixed cost for the most part yeah. um, and look into, you know, uh, but like I said, better monetize and get better margins on, you know, some of our investments. So we looked at uh, a variety of different, uh, you know, vertical markets and something that we could look at and, you know, monetize that. And one of the things we came up with is uh, data centers. Um, you know, we even take a look at the, the data center market. It's one of the fastest growing markets and it's uh, been pretty consistent over the last you know, 15 years. So, yeah. um, especially when you see what's happening in uh, the markets right now, uh, you know, economy is going down, and you know, the data center market is still expanding. Maybe may a little bit slower, but uh, you know, still expanding. So, um, there's some uh, better certainty with customers from that standpoint. And the yeah. way that we're looking at it right now is. Uh, how do we best serve the market? And one of the ways of doing that is building our own data center. And like Mike said, solving some of those problems that are out there right now. Um, with our asset, we've got a lot of power available. We've got it uh, available at a really good cost. Um, and it's also carbon free. So, um, you know, data center, you know, those are one of the three boxes that you have to check when you're building a data center. So we have the ability right. to do that. And, you know, right now we uh, are developing a 300,000 square foot building um, and, uh, Northeast Pennsylvania, and uh, we've got uh, power available right now, uh, and you know we're looking to uh, uh, continue to grow that campus. We've got plenty of land also, which is another factor in the marketplace that's you know hard to find, especially good land, uh, because you know data center campuses are not small. So uh, we have, uh, like I said, been able to check a lot of those boxes that people are looking for right now. And another unique feature I think of this data center is. The power source right and so powered by nuclear energy fully and i think that kind of answers some of the things you were talking about before you know where is it coming from and and how talk to us about that so one of the things that people don't realize is that um you know obviously renewables are kind of what's on everyone's mind these days uh but what's not really well understood is that renewables um are not able to keep up with the total demand that is required um and also the intermittent 
uh, factor that comes into play with renewables, you still need to have a uh, base load, which keeps it all stable. Um, and nuclear power is really the best way to do that. Um, so that's one of the things that we looked at is, you know, that base load capability is critical for the long term viability of the grid um, to limit, you know, the volatility that we see with not just renewables, but uh, volatility of fossil fuel plants. Uh, take a look at what happens with gas prices and, you know, coal prices are all over the map, too, now. So um, mm -hmm. having that stable power source right next to a data center is something that you know our customers are looking for because that gives them you know cost certainty you know years out in the future which you can't get uh from other locations that you know have volatile uh issues with you know either um you know gas or anything else for that matter right and I'm curious, so you, yesterday, I happened to catch uh, the first, our first broadcast of the whole show was with, with Jao Lima. You, you joined a, a conversation, sort of a fireside chat type yeah. style right here on, on JSA TV, uh, where you were talking about some of the practical ways to, to really live the talk that, that is, is sustainability. You mentioned that that was, has been a big topic. So yeah, it was, a, it was a really nice way to kick off PTC and it was a cool panel. It was you know, somebody from the finance side, somebody from regulatory, and somebody from operations, which was my side. Right. And one of the things that I think it really, you know, they they almost marketed my project better than I was able to because we kept on coming around to the fact of what we need to do is bring the load closer to the power sources. And so we were talking about doing that in, at the nuclear plant. We were talking about that and potentially bringing them closer to where the renewables are being built out and expanding from the non-traditional markets. Um, and that we think that that's probably where the trend's going to be in 2023, as just we know, the major, all the major centers are, are just really congested right now, right. having problems installing any new capacity. Yeah. So what should we expect to hear? I mean, I know that there's always lots going on. We just talked about Pennsylvania. That's, that's a big initiative, big project, keeping you busy, I'm sure. Uh, but over the next six months or year, what should we expect to hear from Cumulus? So obviously, uh, first of all, uh, we're looking at trying to sell the data center out at this point. So uh, we have an active effort right now in uh, trying to pursue customers. Um, and also, uh, you know, we have a lot of other sites around the country um, that we're looking to uh, develop also. So, I mean, uh, we're looking to grow, obviously. And, uh, you know, I mean, one of the best things about what we have right now, um, you know, with the the data center next nuclear plant is the overall TCO model is about the best you're going to find in the marketplace. So we expect a, a lot of uh, interest uh, as a result of that uh, going forward. Yeah. Uh, any final things you want to share with our viewers before we uh, help them connect with you? <laughs> Just come find us here at PTC. Happy to talk about what we're doing. Yeah, great. And so for those of our viewers who aren't here, aren't lucky enough to be in Waikiki with us today, with us this week, uh, where can they connect with you? How can they learn more? Sure. Um, yeah, they, obviously they can connect with us on LinkedIn, but also on cumulusinfra.com. Yeah. And reach out to us. We'd love to set up some time to talk about the project and um, talk about other future projects. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Michael. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live here in beautiful Waikiki, Hawaii at PTC 2023. Talk to you next time. Mahalo.